Small Groups and Aspire are about discipling people. How do we live our lives more like Christ? How do we follow the example that He has set for us? Coming from a small church from around 60 people is at first overwhelming. This church is very new to us and we didn't have small groups at our church of 60 some people. Building those relationships with other brothers and sisters in Christ is extremely important and small groups is a way to foster that in a way that even Sunday schools in our old churches were still in rows. Discipleship is what we are called to do. Discipleship takes place when eight or ten people are together digging into the Word, doing life together, coaching each other up, being accountable to each other. That's how you grow in your faith and that's how you become a, a stronger disciple of Jesus. Verse 20, as for us, we cannot help speaking about what you have seen. This group is never intended to be like a specific demographic or a specific type of people. We all might be mostly in the same age range. So then when Cindy Graves moved from further south to San Marco, she came and asked me if she was too old to join our small group. <laughs> and I told her absolutely not, <laughs> and that we wanted her to come for sure, no matter what. Honestly, it's been the best. A faith journey is hard by yourself. A lot of times on Sunday morning, there's just not time to get into deep relationships where you can become authentic, where you can share the vulnerability of the things you're struggling with, and have people that you trust will lift you up. And I would challenge anybody that if they've not took that next step, if they've not tried to find a small group or try to find that family, I mean, do it. And if the first group doesn't fit, there's more. I, I promise you, it, it, it's a beautiful thing.